Hi everyone, it's Miss Justine here to show you how to do this week's craft, the mermaid whirly gig. In your kit, you should find a paper plate, a template with the uh, mermaid's body and tail, a piece of yarn, a container of paint, a container of glitter, a container of sequins, and a bunch of foam stickers that are all different sea creatures. Okay, you're also going to need a paintbrush for the paint, glue, either a glue stick or some white glue is good, a pair of scissors, and something to color with. So I have a bunch of colored pencils. Uh, you could use markers, you could use crayons, you could use whatever you want to color, okay? All right, so once you have all that stuff ready, let's get started. All right, so the first step is to take your paintbrush and your paint and paint one side of your paper plate. Okay, so once you've painted one side of your paper plate, you can set it aside to dry. While it's drying, we'll move on to step two, which says, while the paper plate is drying, color the body and the tail. So, this is the body and the tail. I'm gonna use my colored pencils, but again, you can use your crayons or your markers or whatever you want to color, okay? All right.
So I've colored my Okay, so I've colored my template. I gave my mermaid um, a nice green tail and a pink shell bathing suit, um, some cool purple and green hair. So next we'll check if our paper plate is dry, which mine is. If yours is not, you can either move on to step four and come back or um, you can just wait, do something else uh, in the meantime, okay? All right, so I'm gonna paint my other side now, step three, which says once the plate is dry, turn it over and paint the other side. Okay, so now both sides of our plate are painted and we're gonna put it to the side to dry. And then we are going to go on to step four. Step four says to, um, while, while the paper plate is drying, cut out the body and tail. So you need to get your template out and you need to get your scissors out and cut your uh, the body and the tail of your mermaid. body. All right, so now we'll move on to our next step, which says glue the body to the middle of the paper plate and the tail perpendicular to the left of the mermaid. So what that's going to look like is this. We're going to take our glue, either white glue or a glue stick, and put it all over the back. And we're going to stick the body into the middle of the plate. So that looks like this. And now we're going to put our tail, let's see, we're going to put our tail perpendicular to the left. So that's going to be here.
So this is what our mermaid looks like right now, which is pretty weird. But if we go to our next step, which says, cut out the mermaid, beginning at the tip of the mermaid's tail and getting fatter as you cut around the plate, we're gonna see a mermaid whirly gig, okay? So here's what that's gonna look like, let's see. Okay, so when you take your whole mermaid whirly gig together, it looks like this, like a spiral, and you can see the mermaid's head at the top and the tail at the bottom. So you can trim around the edges too if you have a little bit of excess like I do up here. I'm gonna trim it so that you can only see the mermaid's um, body. So there we go. My, my plate is still a little bit wet, so it's looking a little floppy, but as it dries, it's gonna harden up and it'll be a little bit more clear where the, um, where the swirls are. Okay, so our last step is to decorate. We have lots of glitter and sequins and foam stickers that you can use to decorate the tail of your mermaid. Uh, if you guys want to show off your mermaid whirly gig, we would love to see it. You can send a picture of your completed craft to kids at uplnj.org and we will include it in our online art gallery. Our art gallery can be found at www.uplnj.org slash kids. All right, I hope we'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed making the mermaid whirly gig with me. Uh, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone.